Okay, hello and welcome to the first of a new thing that I'm calling PHP Tips. Um, these are basically going to be like the security uh, videos, except they're not going to be on security. So they're going to be fairly short compared to, well, they're not going to be short, are they? But anyway, they're going to be in single parts. There you go, um, and we'll sort of give you a sort of a, you know, a quick tip. That's the idea. Um, so yeah, hopefully this will be something that'll be quite useful because. A lot of people sort of know how to develop things, but they might just have not seen a way to do something. So that's, that's, that's what I'm showing you, a quick way to do something in the language, not how to make something. There you go, that, that's a good explanation. Right, so in this one, uh, the first video, I'm going to be uh, showing you how to check a variable against multiple, val multiple values without using like a massively long if statement. Um, with loads of ors in it. Um, so I've got these three methods. Bad is the one I just said, and then two slightly better ways. So I've got these open in my browser. Um, as you can see by just me doing this, um, they all output the same thing, which is just to show that they all function in the same way. Uh, I've also got them open in my editor. So this is the bad way. Uh, I'm going to go on to the good ways in a minute. So the reason this is a bad way is that it takes a lot longer to type, for one, um, because you have to keep repeating this this bit um, and also the other main problem is say if you wanted to change the name of example var like say you wanted to change example to something else like demo you would then have to go the quickest way is to but look this is still taking enough time for me to say this sentence and that took well that would should take no time at all because you, sh you can do it so you don't need to change anything in the sort of logic check. Um, and also, um, it, long lines are quite confusing. Uh, if this went off the pe off my editor window, um, you'd have to scroll to see the list of things. Um, and that's an advantage of one of the other methods I'm going to point out in a moment. Um, so going on to the good method, um, well, the first good method, um, you can use the in array function. Um, and what the in array function does is checks if um, the first parameter you give it is in the second parameter you give it. Um, and we're just defining an array in line here in the in array function. Um, so the in array function will just return true if this is in this array. So you can see what we've done is remove quite a lot of repetitions of this and also sort of made this list a bit more concise, brought it together a bit. So this is the list, whereas before it was spread out across all of these. Um, so you could sort of slightly more clearly see. Um, another problem here though is that um, um, next competition, count how many times I say um. um <laughs> God, okay. The problem here is that uh, this list will sort of, as it grows, if it, if it needs to grow, if it's fairly short, it doesn't really matter, but as it grows, um, trying to stop it will sort of extend off the editor window like I said before so you'll end up having to scroll across uh, it'll be less of a problem though because this um, it's shorter overall each time you add one all you're adding is the length of the item so before you had like to let add a new item you had to add all this as well but now it's just the length of whatever you're adding bit pointless you can also define this as a variable beforehand and that'd make it a bit shorter, but don't really need to do that. Uh, and the other method is to use a switch statement. So this works by sort of doing the same thing, really. I don't. I will have a basics video on switches at some point, um, but for now, PHP.NET/slash/switch. Um, so what we're doing here is checking example variable, putting it into the switch statement, and then for each of these cases we're going to run this bit of code. Switch statements are a little confusing. I tend not to use them. I kind of prefer this in array method because it makes the code shorter, as in 9 lines instead of 15. So, yeah. Uh, although the advantage of this is that it makes it uh, the list very obvious. Everything's lined up nicely, uh, and, well, the list is obvious. As it grows, it will grow down instead of across, which is quite an advantage if you have, like, few hundred things in this list. Not that that will ever really happen, but you know, it's something to consider. Um, so yeah, that's basically this tip, um, and I thought it'd be shorter than five minutes, and oh, if I stop